Hi everyone, welcome again to Bake Your Way Kitchen. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to do speculoo cookie butter, basically what Trader Joe does. And just out of these cookies, these are firm, hard speculoo cookie biscuits, and these are what we're going to use for our base for our cookie butter. Now, if you want to know how to make these, you can go to my previous video, I'll have a link to it, and uh, or visit bakeyourway.com to find the full recipe details. Um, so it's super easy to make this. Um, you just, after you've done the recipe, I've added just a little bit, half a teaspoon of molasses, as well I've got a little bit of sugar, cinnamon, and a bit of salt to reinforce the flavor. As well, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. Not too, too, too much. That's good. As well, we're going to need to add a flavorless oil. It's what's going to make this paste come together. So what I would suggest you do is use something like a sunflower oil. Do not use olive oil because olive oil does have a pretty powerful flavor. So what you want to start by doing is you want to start with about half a tablespoon. Whoops. I'll add most of that. So that's not a full tablespoon, but we're partly there because you might need to add more later depending on the consistency of the cookie butter. So now that we've done that, we simply add the biscuits in. You can see I have these darker ones. Um, they're, they're very, they're not, they might, they look burnt on the camera, they're not, <laughs> but they're very close to, they're very, they're very done, let's just say that. I put them in a little longer than I thought. So all you need to do now is break apart these cookies. Helps get get it started. There you go. And yes, you will need a food processor from this. You cannot do this by hand. Uh, you could do this in a, in a heavy duty um, smoothie maker or smoothie machine if you don't have a food processor. Um, but yeah. Let's get some of these things in here. These ones are a bit too dark. Okay, I'll leave that there. Okay, so I'll add a little bit more because I suspect, so I've now added a tablespoon of the oil instead of half a tablespoon. So now what we do, you put a lid on, this needs to mix for about four minutes and it should develop a paste. If you notice it's very thick after about four minutes, you can add a little bit more oil. I would suggest maybe a teaspoon or two at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. It is very loud, so I'll do it off camera. So after about five minutes, you should start to get um, uh, this very, very fine crumb mixture, and it is starting to come together. That is phase one. So now phase two, we need to add another three tablespoons of oil. And we're going to add this in. And we're going to mix this for another couple minutes. Camera cut out, but I'll explain exactly what just happened. Um, I finally got the end result consistency of cookie butter and how you I did it was after I started the processing just a second ago um, I let it go for another four minutes before adding another three tablespoons of oil yes another three I let it go for a few more minutes then I added two more tablespoons of oil after that I added half a cup of water all of this information will be in the description below, but I wanted to show you the consistency you can get. Now you can vary this. Um, it's so it's sweet enough, so you can add a little bit of water if this is too thick, and it'll still be very sweet. And um, as far as the taste goes, you can give it a try. And this is this is exactly the texture that you get, like cookie butter. It actually, surprisingly, it does not taste 
um, as sweet as Trader Joe's cookie butter. Believe it or not, I, I can't believe it. Um, but it's ultra smooth. Mm. By processing it for that long, you know how when you get the cookie butter, there's usually like those crystals of sugar or pieces of cookie in it? There's none of that here. It's completely smooth like a paste. It's absolutely delicious. And you can put this, I would recommend not putting this on something that's already sweet. It's really good on toast as a dessert. Um, it's as a, Again, it's very rich. It is fattening, of course. Um, but it is great to have, and especially if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you. This is a perfect way to do it. So as I mentioned before, it takes a lot of processing, a lot of food processing. I would say that I had the food processor on a total of 20 minutes. It takes a long time for those crumbs to get super fine, and then you need to add the fats in addition so that you, if you add too much at once, your, your, your cookie butter is gonna become very oily. This is not very oily. But this does need to, whoa, <laughs> this does need to, sorry, there's just a piece there. It does need to be kept um, in the fridge. Um, what I have found before, because there's not like preservative stabili stabilizers in this, sometimes I do find that in the fridge it does firm up, but if you microwave it a little bit, it'll, it'll become a bit more runny then. It's absolutely fantastic. You can keep it in the fridge. I would say this is good for about a week to two. Um, it's it's an excellent um, thing to give to someone as a treat if they're major sweet tooth. Um, I hope you give this recipe a try. It's absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching. Visit bakery.com for more, and I'll see you next time.